Welcome back to the channel. So today we've we are getting a lot of shiny stuff and there's lots of shiny things going on. Um we got a big delivery today. We unboxed some stuff, some drift parts, some car parts, and also yeah, we have some shiny wheels as well. So lots of shiny stuff today. Um nothing uh more enjoyable than a delivery day. So see what you think of what we're after getting and what we have in stock now and some of the work that we have done for uh, some good friends of ours over at AAA Competitions, AAA Media. Uh, we've done a little bit of work for them as well. Uh, so see what you think of this. You all right there? I think the cat's broke. Yeah, definitely broke. So it's Friday and the sun is shining and we are after getting a big delivery um, from a sponsor of mine, uh, China Sourcing Services. We're after getting a huge delivery of stuff. Um, because IS200s are such a big thing in Ireland, we decided that we would work with China Sourcing Services and uh, bring in some stuff that uh, might interest some IS200 owners. So um, I'm going to show you through it. If you know IS200 owners that may be interested, do comment below. But uh, yeah, I'll just show you what's in front of me. So what is in the boxes? Also, these are for IS200s. This is a piece of puzzle for Abby's build. So I suppose let's unbox them and see what's in them. First, um, I believe this is some parts for Abby's car. So we have got engine mounts, well, we should have engine mounts, and we have, I think we have a hydraulic fan brake as well. So let's just see what goodies China Source Services have sent over to us. So in this box here, we have got Abby's engine mounts. Indeed. So, engine mounts for E36, E46. Probably will be stocking these fairly soon. Um, they do seem pretty strong, so solid mounts, um, solid engine mounts, and also in here, in here, I think we have, uh, yeah, gear mount mounts as well. So, really, really strong uh, gearbox mounts and engine mounts for Abby's build. So that's a brilliant job. Um, that's the engine mounts sorted. One step closer for Abby. And uh, on the next one, we have some um, control arm uh, brushes. So, these are both on the chassis, the control arm will go in here. Again, very, very good quality. Um, actually, I am using these on my own drift car and they haven't broken yet, so. I've tested them and they work, so that's another little bit to Abby's car and some grease then as well. For, I always need a bit of grease, you know. Get it in there. Right, so engine mounts. Um, Control arm, bushings, and what have we in here? So what I think we have in here is uh, a short shifter for Abby's car as well. So this is, in one box there's a lot of upgrades um, for Abby's car. Just want to be careful here now that I don't lose that now here. is very very nice very very nice really surprised with that and then you have this seems to be adjustable so i don't know this could be actually universal but um you adjust that to get your gear linkage whatever suits best for your gear linkage um yeah that 
That is very, very cool. Claps. And a very, very nice sock. Can't wait to get all of these fitted. Actually, we have one more thing. I think I know what this is. Where's my screwdriver? Here is our lower control arm for the rear, adjustable camber. Um, I've seen other ones. Sorry, they're the same quality. So this is the adjustable uh, arms for the back of Abby's car. So basically get your camber in or out or whatever way we need to set it up. But uh, little box there and loads of little upgrades. Abby's um, bits unboxed, I've seen loads of cool goodies for her drift car and uh, next up is the IS200 boxes. So what do you think is in the boxes? Well, let's see now. Okay, so we're getting blessings. So as you've seen in the box, RES racing exhaust systems. This can only mean one thing for IS200 owners. Things are going to get loud. Very, very loud. But let's unbox this, this now and um, show you what really good quality and really, really shiny stuff looks like. This looks really, really well packaged. Loads of this stuff. Loads more of it. More of it. There is a nice uh, RES racing exhaust system. A uh, little bag here. So let's see what's in here. This is unbelievable quality. So, open up this. And what have you. Class, RES, nice sort of slanted tip, and the best thing about this uh, kit is um, it's all interchangeable. Um, but this is basically what you're looking at here is going to be a full axle back IS200 stainless uh, exhaust, um, and the quality looks polished to perfection and tip already as we can see the way it was packed 
all packed in nice foam and a nice bag in there. Very, very, very surprised with that. And um, so we will pop that. I better wrap it up because these are going on sale. And um, this video will be out Sunday night, so you'll be seeing this Sunday night. I'm hoping that it'll still be here. But from the quality that I'm seeing here, I don't think these are going to hang around. I really, really don't. And plus, we've only got five in stock at the minute. So that's all we have. Five by us 200 owners, they could come very, very quick. So as I said, it's an axle back. So let's just unwrap this. So look at that. I will do a montage, but like this is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. Um, right, what I'll do is I'll unbox the rest of this. I'll paste it all together and we'll do a little bit of a montage and show you all the unreal quality of this. This is the Axelback IS200, IS300, uh, RES sports exhaust. Axle back and look at the quality of it. Um, so it's interchangeable as well. Um, this is all interchangeable here. This comes off here. And your tip, a very cool thing on the back box. You can actually move your tip whatever way you want to. Um, just the joint that's on it. So if you want your exhaust tilted up, tilted down, over back, to match your bumper and um, to get it, you know, exactly square. That is a very, very cool um very very cool idea and uh, I suppose there's not more annoying than looking at a car with a cut out for the exhaust and the exhaust not centre or off to one side or something so this little cool idea here will be able to allow to get your exhaust dead centre in the back bumper in the cut out for the exhaust I'm amazed by this, this is unbelievable so I'll skip to a little montage show you the wells, the joints, stuff like that and um, as I says, if you know any IS200 owners, do comment below because these are going to fly out. As I says, we have only five in stock and uh, by the time you're seeing this Sunday, you may not be able to get one of these because they probably will be gone, judging on the quality that I'm looking at here. Really, really am shocked with the quality of them. They are absolutely unbelievable and a direct bolt on for IS200 and IS300. Um, I have noticed the rudder had IS200 around here for a long time and a common problem, I think, um, don't slap me on it, but I think the back boxes, all the original ones, all just rot on them. Um, so this stainless upgrade um, axle back is unbelievable and so nice to see under the car, nice and shiny. Um, it's a mirror finish. Um, so basically, if you are interested in one and they're not all gone, do comment below and um, give me your details and I will get in contact with you and uh, I will be able to sort out with one of these shiny exhausts that will never, ever, ever rust again and it'll probably last longer than the car will. So do jump onto these if they're not gone and grab yourself some very shiny bolt-on bits. So I'm just gonna do an inspection on all the exhausts and uh, look at this tip blue burned effect that is very very cool uh, like the quality of this i i'm i'm just i'm still shocked um but yeah this one has the blue roll tip so i'm going to mark that up so if anybody wants to the blue roll slanty tip that would look very 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 cool so that is the five exhausts uh checked in and everything is good um We've got three with the blue tips, which I 
wasn't sure about, but they actually look pretty cool. And we've got two with the chrome tips, um, or the, the polished tips. So these five are waiting. Um, as I says, do comment below. Let me know if you want one of these. Um, the quality is 100%. As I said, very, very impressed. So do grab one of these, put them on your IS200, and you'll never have to worry about an exhaust rotting again. Actually, we're working on a little project as well. Uh, my dad did a little job on these, polished them up. I actually got a video of them the other day, so I will clip to that and show you the outcome of these babies. Every once in a while, um, we do go back to the car scene, and which I was very big into a couple of years ago. And uh, I suppose lads come looking for help and that I used to be in the car scene with and I'll always, always help them out. So um, one of the guys uh, came to me and looked about getting his uh, lips polished and uh, my dad has been polishing for, well had been polishing for like 15 years um, so he knows absolutely everything about polishing any metal, he knows it. So um, we decided to help out. I've gotten the job and he is after polishing a set of works wheels and um, lips for one of the guys. I'm just going to show you the outcome of them now because they are unbelievable. So they are done. Um, I've just put a coat of sealer on them now so water, anything, runs clean off them. Um, so that should keep them safe. The only thing that I think these are a works wheel and uh, these are not an easy wheel to polish. They're not a wheel that you can just go and get some metal polish and um, rub them with a cloth because we found out the hard way um, that these wheels from factory are stoved just uh, the lacquer is stoved onto them so basically you cannot put them on a machine polisher and polish the, the, the metal because it's not metal it's a stoved lacquer um so my dad had some trouble with this he had to go and get some serious um, paint remover to get the lacquer off it because the lacquer was all peeling i think lots of people have that problem with wheels with lacquers peeling um so he had to get that stripped off to get down to the to the stainless or the aluminium to get polishing and um, so the lacquer is completely stripped off these polished back up and uh, sealed so these should be good for a very very long time and you don't have to worry about this um, you know lacquer peeling again or anything as long as you keep these polished and keep them safe they will last forever so it's a really really cool job and the shine is unbelievable so it is That's it for this episode. So if you like what you've seen, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, just a little update since recording um, what you've seen there. Um, two exhausts have sold already, so the two chrome tip ones are gone. We have three blue ones left. Sorry, two blue ones left. I'm raffling one on my Facebook page. So if you head over to my Facebook page, I'm raffling one there. It's 10 euros a number and uh, on the Irish law, also 147. And uh, there's a raffle up there. 10 euros a number so basically if you win you will get the exhaust i will give you 100 euros uh, along with the exhaust so you get 100 euros and an exhaust for an is 200 and um, so that's raffling on my page so if you want to head over to that and also the wheel's been polished as well if anybody's having trouble with like two three-piece wheels it needs polishing do contact us we might be able to sort you out as well and um, so yeah we've got the new shiny exhaust which are flying out and the wheels polished and loads of new bits for Abby's car as well. So, um, yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, as I said, make sure to like, comment and definitely subscribe because we are building our subscribers very, very slowly, but it is going great. And thanks all for watching and keep, keep watching.